Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Jeff here from Hey Fro Cells. I am in an incredible mood for a number of reasons. The most, the first reason being that my wife got some good news yesterday about some health. She was having some issues with her ears and they got it in time. Like it was something that could have, could have caused her to lose some hearing. Um, but it looks like um, she was, you know, by a miracle. So health is everything, guys. You know, I've had some health scares in the past. It is, it makes everything on eBay look meaningless. So that's good news number one. Good news number two is we're going to a concert tonight in Vancouver. And it's like one of my favorite bands that's from Vancouver. It's like this small indie band called The Humans. Um, they do like elect indie electronic stuff. And uh, the lead, Peter Reek, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name, R-I-C-Q. Just an amazing guy. I met him at a Comic Con a few years uh, pre-COVID. Uh, he's just such a talented artist musician just a super cool dude um i've talked to him a few times on on ig and uh yeah he's he's i'm excited this is the first concert i've been to since covid and it's it's a small venue i prefer small personalized venues so super excited about that and a little update regarding the negative feedback so yesterday when i posted the video i had sent him one message the day before and I hadn't heard back from him and you know he was a new user and I was just thinking you know maybe he didn't see the messages and I thought you know I'm gonna try one more time so I I posted yesterday's video on YouTube and then I messaged him and then and I appall you know you know you basically just kind of reiterated and and kind of made a case and then I sent the feedback revision. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because if he doesn't have it, he can't do it. And I just thought maybe, you know, he'll have some change of heart and he'll, you know, anyhow, an hour or so goes by and I get an email saying that the buyer revised the feedback. I was just like blown away. And I'm gonna read to you guys the email and I want to share with you guys one little thing that I actually learned on a personal growth level throughout all of this because I was discussing this with my wife last night when I sent that second email I really tried to take any any kind of ego or anything out of it I I know from me whenever something happens to me I tend to get very defensive it's just, it's a poor personality trait on on my own self. Uh, I, I'm an only child and I, I don't really know what that has to do with it, but I feel like there's something there, some some sort of entitlements or something. And, and I know this about myself. And so when I sent that second email to him, I tried to put myself in his shoes. It was a gift. So there's obviously emotion that's attached to that. When you take the time to go out and you buy something for somebody, it means something. I, me I mentioned, I believe yesterday, I had another experience similar to this, where this was years ago, where somebody had purchased something as a gift. It always, it always causes things to to escal escalate quickly. So it's our job as sellers to recognize this that when it when it, when it's a gift we have to tread a little lighter this is what this is what we do we're sellers you know the customer service aspect isn't the most enjoyable but it's also a necessity and we choose this nobody puts guns to our heads to resell this is what we do so this i'm trying to take use this as a learning experience not just from me but also to, to share my experiences with you. This is what I do on this channel. And I talk about the things that suck and I talk about the things that are good. Um, that's, that's just what I do. And 
So I, I, I messaged him and I was like, look, I, not look, I, I was like, I re I can't remember exactly what I said, but I, I, I tried to put myself and I'm like, I, I realized that this was a gift and I know that this was important to you. And I do apologize for, for messing up. I own the mistake. And then, like I said, he revised the feedback. I know I'm going to read to you what, because to me, this just blew me away because at that point I was just assuming it was going to stick. It was my fault. I didn't think I wasn't even going to call into eBay. I probably wouldn't have even considered calling into eBay had a couple uh, viewers mentioned that there are eBay has shown compassion that way. I don't know if I would have done that because to be honest with you, and I am a big proponent of getting feedback removed. I guess I would never know unless he didn't remove it, but it was my mistake. But anyhow, so this email really made me feel that, you know, there are so many good buyers out there. So he goes, I, he goes, Jeff, I have revised my comments and they are now positive due to the way you responded to the error. I realized that mistakes happen. And the last thing I would want to do is to create a financial problem for someone who's working hard and made an honest mistake. I basically let him know that feedback, while it doesn't necessarily, it, basically it can cause us to lose sales, right? And And this is what I do for a living. So I didn't think that the punishment fit the crime, but it wasn't for me to decide. I had to make that case and show him that. This was my first use of eBay in about 20 years. So like I said, I knew he was new. So my initial re reaction was probably too severe. Thank you for your offer of a substitute. The offer is enough. I do not plan to actually take advantage of it, but thank you. I am not aware of any other Amarula shot glasses available, but I will keep looking. It was just intended as a gift for my sister as a reminder of the enjoyable trip we took to South Africa earlier this month, and I had planned to give it to her at Christmas. She likes Amarula. But I shared the story with her, and the thought was enough. You seem like a very nice person who has taken this seriously. Thank you, and good luck in the future work with eBay, Jim. So I actually did. So he said that he is not aware. I actually found one that was that was in central Canada, and I actually purchased it today. And I'm having and I and I'm having it sent to him. I haven't told him yet that I'm doing that. Oh, and get this. And he then sent another email. He's like, oh, and I'm mailing back your hat. I'm like, so <laughs> I responded to him. I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm like, and this might this might have been a bit much, but if he's gonna mail it anyhow, first I said he didn't have to do that, but if you but if he insists, I'm like, hey. Can you mail it to this address, the person who was supposed to get the Ford hat in the first place? So he hasn't responded to that. So it looks like one way or the other, I'll get the hat back. And then I'll, uh, I will basically, I had already refunded the guy who purchased the hat. And um, so either way, if I get it back, I'll mail it to him free of charge. Or he, this, this guy, my, Jim, might just mail it to to him and then he'll just he'll just get his hat so could be a feel-good story all around although i still don't know where the shot glass went so stay tuned for that update all right we have some sales i think that was all i wanted to comment on that yeah we have some sales uh seven sales uh, so since yesterday, when I did the video, that's when I, that's the sale. Se seven sales at 355 plus another 45 that's going to be coming in from that post, those posters that I showed you yesterday. We are going to meet up today. She's like super, she's so beyond ecstatic to get these horror Frankenstein, uh, Dracula, Mummy, Bud Light posters from the, from the 90s. She's, she's like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me and like she's so it's so I, I i love these kinds of stories when it comes to a buyer it's just like they're just so excited ecstatic to get something um so yeah that's gonna sound and i actually have some other things that are potentially coming up today uh but i just gotta get everything done by five that's when we're heading down um first sale zipper Gene Simmons did a comic book from Kiss. Uh, Gene Simmons is a marketing, Gene, Kiss is a marketing genius, but I believe most of it 
stems from Gene Simmons. He is just he is just such a amazing businessman. Um, yeah, and this the person who bought this is actually most likely we're in talks right now. Well, we're literally literally discussing it right now uh he wants he wants to buy this comic as well and this this is 24 so hey this hasn't gone through yet so i don't know uh, i don't want to count it so i'm not going to count it but it's just this was a good opportunity to upsell so it looks like he's going to buy this but i'll let you know if that actually happens but as for right now 17 dollars for 18 dollars for these zipper comics uh they're not really worth a whole lot in terms of like collectability it's more specific to if you're a gene simmons fan i uh, sold another one of these dots and keychains they're very very old they're from the 70s i believe uh picked these up locally for like um like a buck and then i ended up going back and buying more um so they made an offer for 14 that's a little less than I think I want to sell because because the thing about this is um, it actually comes with a certificate of authenticity. The creators who did this signed it, and this is like a special Midtown Comics variant. Midtown Comics is an on time on time online retailer, uh, a pretty big one at that, and you can find some pretty good deals on there. I haven't shopped in there for a while. Um, maybe I'll circle back to that. We are now doing what sold. So yeah, this sold for $16. So $20 including shipping. This Ikea, Jacobson, Jacobson. What is it you might ask? Well, it's this, it's this, but I will take it out of the box. So I actually had two of these. The, the one the person bought, I've already packaged up. It's just a little ball. Uh, it's just the ball. And this this sold for $45. Uh, I believe I paid like three bucks. For, uh, like I think maybe it was like five or six dollars for, for both of them. Um, but Ikea stuff, like I said, guys, Ikea stuff, don't sleep on it. Especially if it's old or discontinued. Uh, there's definitely money to be made there. All right, so that was 45 Ch I I tried to upsell them on the other one. No dice. <laughs> um, Inuyashu. I just sold one of these the other day. This sold for thirty. I accepted an offer. This is this is volume forty four. I believe anything in the forties of this series is, and this is a really high grade copy. He actually got a deal, in my opinion. Like this is flawless. This looks like the day it came out. I was gonna counter, and again. I'm trying to practice what I what I'm saying is to not not being super attached to the price that I associate with things because a we got to we have to create flow in our in our business you know we need that abundance mindset we feel more abundant when we have sales when we feel more abundant we have more sales it's a cycle if we're feeling bad about our sales we're gonna get more bad it's that feeling which causes that attraction um this is a my chemical Rom romance poster i'm not gonna take it out it's kind of cool but it, i re if i remember correctly it's like got like uh it's like it's a black and i don't want to get fingerprints on it paid uh 75 cents for this it's it was brand new when i when i bought it but i had to take it out to photograph it uh, because no one's going to buy a poster. They don't know what it looks like. Uh, this sold for $19. And it was already in the container. So I don't even have to dig out a canister. Um, the last sale. Uh, you did see the. Uh, you're going to see the, a hat. In a, in a clip. Later on in this video. So that sold for 12 The last sale so far is this. This bad boy sold for two fifteen. This I just literally just listed this a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know if I showed you, so I sent this away. I have I've sent very few th books away to get graded. I was hoping it was going to come back a nine nine eight. A nine eight is kind of like the highest that you can you can get a ten. You can get a nine nine, 
but they just don't give those grades out very often. You know, if I mean, if this would have came back a 9.9 nine or 10, boo bucks, like a lot. So uh, this came back a 9.6. Uh, I had, I, I listed it for like 270 and then it got sucked into a sale and then I, I sent an offer out and then he sent a counter and the counter was above market price for this book. So I thought I do have some more of these actual issues that are not graded. I mean, I did pick the best one out, at least what I thought was the best one out. So maybe I might send another one in. I don't actually, I have a friend of mine that I do comic pressing for and he, he sends stuff into CGC and every once in a while I will send something, attach it to his order. So he takes care of it all for me. But so it, I believe it costs like 35 or $40 to get, so I paid $2 for the book, 35 or 40, I think for the, for the press, for the press, but the, I'm sorry for the grading, but the grading came out of work that I did. So it didn't actually cost me anything. It was like, you know, I pressed them books. I pressed four books for, I charged ten dollars a book, and uh, so I basically got, we bartered that. So yeah, two fifteen plus shipping for this. It's a cool book, you know, and it, and it, it's something that will go up in value over time, one hundred percent. And if I was a collector, I would keep it, but I'm not a collector. I'm a reseller. So yes. So the other thing that I want to sh just show you real quick is, uh, my wife actually has. So she's, she's recently kind of just become an artist though, over COVID. Like she started painting and she's just gotten painting. And I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but we actually have somebody uh, locally who's, they just messaged me today. They're, they're interested. So this would be her first sale, which is kind of exciting for her. Uh, this is a diptych. These are two little paintings that she did. But what's cool about them is they work both ways. Isn't that isn't that awesome? Oh, I'm sorry about that glare. But um, yeah, I had sold a painting um, a few months back that, ha that utilized these colors and she, and I kind of wish I, I hadn't sold it because um, it was such a beautiful painting and you know, I do love art and I do want to sell more art in the future. Uh, but so she's she was she's inspired that's what inspired her to do this this style so uh, these are 60 and uh we'll see if the sale goes through um other than that uh decent blend of organic promoted they were right around i believe three of them were promoted for organics obviously i want that more but yeah, so other than that, I think that's just about it, guys. Um, we are, I, I, yeah, let's just end the video here. I, I got lots of stuff to do. And you're going to see uh, another clip after this. I'll be talking, I'm kind of like, I did some ser search functions on eBay. You'll, you'll see that in the clip. But you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Hey guys, let's talk eBay's search feature and see where this takes us. So I just got an offer on this hat and I had made this video before I accepted the offer because I wanted you to see what was happening in the search results. And then I ended up having to delete that video. So I'm remaking the video. So you're just going to have to take my word on this, uh, but you'll see, you'll see where I'm going with this. So I got an offer for $12 for this hat. It's a really cool hat. It's from a brewery in Florida called Tripping Animals. I had it listed for 20, you'll see there. It was on sale. He threw it out an offer for 12. Um, I did not pay anything for this. I literally found this hat while I was running one day and I was just like, you know, I, I love tripping. I love animals. Uh, I don't really like beer so much. I'm more of a cider guy. I love mushrooms. I just thought it was super cool and I thought somebody out there would want it. Somebody did. And it has some damage on it that I actually disclosed. This, this last uh, thing is not there. The last latch and it fits really small so i said all that and like he made an offer for 12. now 
Before I accepted the offer, I was curious as to how many other tripping animals brewing hats were out there. Now, I, I think I kind of used the wrong word. So it is tripping animals brewing. I think tripping anim animals brewery would have been the better keyword to use because when I had when I searched my hat triple triple animals brewing brewery my ha my result was like all the way down into 65 I counted it. Now had I put tripping animals brewery that might have got me a little bit higher but what this is going to illustrate here that I'm talking about is there is a serious flaw with eBay search. So had somebody put in Tripping Animals Brewery hat, this this was the number one spot that came up, not even promoted, actually. And then you've got Moosehead Lager, Oscar Blues. I mean, you can see none of these have to do with Os um, Tripping Bre Brewery. I believe there's going to be two more that show up. But I mean, look at all these. They're not, they're like, am I missing something? I thought when you put in Tripping Animals Brewery hat, the results, the first results that come up should have those four words in it. And you can see so far only two of them have had that. Pretty sure there's going to be two more that come up. Just gonna prove me wrong. Okay, I actually wonder something. I wonder if I had put in brew brewing. Let's see here, because because that's what was there. Now, see, that's interesting. You put in triple, tripping animals brewing hat, no exact match is found. But this, one, two, three, four, is on the fifth results. Whereas this should be number one. 100%, this should be, this should be number one. And th there's the other one. Okay, so, so he's on, he's at five when he should be at number one. He should be at number two. And I think there's going to be one. There were three hats that were above me that were under the tripping animals. I don't know. I feel like this is a huge fail. I feel like this has to be one of the main reasons that our sales are so bad right now. Is because the buyers can't actually locate the items so when I accepted this $12 offer I mean I, I probably would have accepted it based on the flaws and it, that it fits small and that I didn't pay anything for it but let's just say that it was a solid hat and it, it, it didn't fit small and it didn't have those pegs missing I probably would have accepted that $12 offer because I don't know if anybody else is ever going to see my listing. You know, when I list items, I list it, it goes out into the ether, it goes out into Cassini's world, and I just have faith that the buyer is going to be able to actually locate it based on, you know, using a simple search feature that we are all used to using. We all know how to use search features now because of Google. If Google came back and, and gave you all these results of what you're not looking at for, there would be no point in ever using Google again. You would just go and use Bing or Firefox or some other search browser. Like eBay, you really need to get this fixed. And if I'm missing something here, if I'm overlooking something and, and I'm just dumb, and I just don't know what I'm talking about. Please call me out. Tell me what I'm, what am I missing here? What? Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 seriously disappointed in you know the ability for buyers to be able to actually locate 
our items on eBay's search. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, I'm back. I figured that second clip, it didn't really have a closing, so I wanted to do a proper closing. Uh, two, two things I wanted to talk about. The person who bought this uh, Ikea thing, the shipping was, on the listing was $13. I contacted the buyer and, cause I'm always trying to think, how can I make the experience a little bit better? So I thought if I, cause what this weighed, if I put this inside another box, it would have went over a pound. But if I took what was inside and put it in another box and then packaged it up properly, I thought I could get it. On, I, I could have gotten it under the, a pound. So I did message the buyer and I was like, hey, I'm like, I could refund you 30% uh, of your shipping and handling. If you're okay with me just not shipping this box, but putting it in another box. And um, they were like, hey, no, thanks for the offer, but it's okay. Just ship it as normal. So... I tried. I tried to actually get the buyer to accept, you know, this, just the bulb because it would benefit them. But some people don't care about money, right? Like, and that's okay too, right? So that's just something that I try to do as a seller because you never know what little thing that you do is going to get them to make a, like a mental note in their head and be like, oh, you know, that buyer, that seller did this for me. I, I appreciate that. I want to, I want to come back to that shopper. So it's always, it's always the little things in selling, in life, it's always the little things. And then secondly, I'm amazed that the opinions people have as viewers of YouTube channels, it just, it never ceases to amaze me. And this is probably something that I'm just gonna, you know, as long as I have this YouTube channel, I'm gonna continue to be amazed at the things that come out of people's mouths. For example, um, I had mentioned that I don't, I'm not really a buyer on eBay. It's not because I don't want to buy on eBay. There's a couple of different reasons. Number one, I don't really have time to sh go shopping on eBay. Like I have a lot of friends who, and there are some things that I want to actually start doing and there are some things that I want to start buying on eBay because actually now is kind of actually a really good time to buy uh, basically I want to set up some yeah I'm so ignorant when it comes to buying but you, you can like set up searches and this and that and I do want to do that with some CGC graded books because there are some insane good deals on CGC graded books right now like I I watch some comic focused uh, YouTube channels and they're showing like some of these really amazing deals and that's something that I want to get into so I do I do plan on it but like somebody had a viewer had mentioned like that it's bad karma that I'm not buying on eBay that I'm only selling and they gave the reference of like if you only went into what did they say if you only went into a Goodwill and you only bought stuff that you could resell. I don't know. It didn't really make any sense because it didn't make any, it wasn't applicable. It's not that I'm, bu I'm buying on other online platforms and I'm not buying on eBay. It's just, I don't have time and I don't necessarily need to buy on eBay because I have access to, I have so much overstock and I'm, ironically enough, I'm a bit of a minimalist. Even though I have all this stuff that I resell, someone might look at it and think I'm a hoarder, but in, in, in my core, I'm a minimalist. I actually don't require a ton of stuff. I'm actually trying to get stuff out of the house, like our own personal stuff like that we use. Like we have just too much stuff. So I'm always trying to get rid of stuff. So yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do believe in karma, but I don't believe that I get bad karma because I don't buy on eBay. That totally does not correlate. All right. All right, guys. Despite slow sales, I'm quite happy with how things are going. Seven sales at 355 plus 45 posters in, in a day. I mean, that's 
that's above actually where I even want to be. That's well above my daily target of 285 a day. That's I just want some consistency. That's all. I think the days where we get a couple orders and then there's crickets for 10, 14, 24 hours, I think that's when we start feeling suspicious of what the hell eBay is doing behind the scenes. Like, And, and you're going to see... By now, you would have already seen my rant about eBay search results. And, you know, please chime in. Let me know what your experiences are. Let me know what you're seeing. Let me know if I'm missing something. Uh, but other than that, have a great weekend, guys. We will see you on the flip side soon. Bye.